tail of the tape for John Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao. A five-year age advantage for the Filipino star. Half inch in height for the Mexican star. Arm length, advantage of one inch measured from the armpit to the end of the fist for Pacquiao. They both weighed in within a pound of the 130-pound weight class limit. Tonight, Marquez has rehydrated up to 141. Pacquiao adding 16 pounds overnight. Has a functional four-pound weight advantage unofficially going into the ring. CompuBox numbers from the first fight. Larry Merchant, what do you see here? The landed punches virtually equal. Pacquiao more active, which resulted in him getting the credit in a few of the late close rounds. Rules of the bout whether unofficial ringside scorer Harold Letterman. Now one Manuel Marquez, Manny Pacquiao fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case it comes caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell at any round, yeah. including the 12th and oh, final round. Jim! By the estimation of both Ring Magazine and ESPN.com, these are two of the top five fighters in the world. Marquez is the one who has an official 130-pound title belt, so Pacquiao will enter the ring first, but they are fighting for the vacant Ring Magazine belt. Suffice to say, the winner of this fight is the man in the 130-pound weight class, as well as still one of the top five fighters in the world. I think it's a tremendous surprise, given the shape in which Pacquiao appeared yesterday, that he has put on unofficially 16 pounds, more than 10% of his body weight overnight. That surprises me very much. Emmanuel Stewart, what do you think? I've always felt that he's about seven pounds of natural body weight uh, mass bigger than Marquez, and I think that's going to be a factor tonight. I think he's physically very, very, very strong. And this, and this is probably one of the reasons. Weight. This is one of the reasons why they want him to go to 135 pounds. Does his promoter and his handlers immediately after this fight? So Pacquiao is trying to become the world champ at 130 pounds in what amounts to his last fight at 130 pounds if all goes according to plan. In fact, he won his first world championship, I think, was about 106 pounds, 112 pounds, when he was only 19 years old. And tonight he will make in excess of five million dollars. And he deserves it. He is a major, major attraction. Which means that he makes a great deal more than does the older Juan Manuel Marquez. And that's a, a function yeah, of the yeah. fact that Marquez has never been able to generate the sign of link with yeah. the audience. It's late in his career. But Larry, you've already touched on this subject. That's a part of his goal tonight. Well, Marquez is the champion, but Pacquiao is the attraction. Still in all, he'll be getting more than a million and a half dollars, probably his top purse. And as you listen to this crowd, once again, we remind you, for the 10th time in his last 11 fights, Manny Pacquiao is fighting against a Mexican opponent. He has become, in effect, an icon for Mexican fans as well as for fans in the Pacific Rim and the, and the United States. And Marquez, who spent much of his career battling the images of Marco Antonio Barrera and Derek Morales, now says he's here to avenge their losses to Pacquiao. Irony upon irony, politics making strange bedfellows, the crowd at a fever pitch. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Welcome to the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. And recognition by the Bible of Boxing Ring Magazine for the true world championship. This is a presentation of Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with Romanza Boxing Productions and MP Promotions, along with HBO Pay-Per-View. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza with an Attitude, Rockstar Energy Drink Party Like a Rockstar, 
Smart Communications, and Southwest Airlines, the symbol of freedom. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman John Bailey, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, and the WBC President Jose Suleiman. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout, Dwayne Ford, Tom Miller, and Jerry Roth, and inside the ring, in charge of the action, referee Kenny Bayless. And now, we've met the promoters, sponsors, and officials. Now it's time to meet the stars of the show. And that means it's time for the most famous phrase in boxing history. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, official weight, 129 pounds. Professional record, 45 victories, including 34 knockouts, three defeats, with two belts even. From General Santos City, Philippines, the challenger, former WBC flyweight world champion, former IBF featherweight world champion, and current WBC international super featherweight champion, Manny. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, official weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 48 victories, including 35 knockouts, three defeats with one draw. Damas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, four-time world champion, former WBA, IBF, and WBO featherweight world champion, the reigning, defending, WBC super featherweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Dinamita. Trunks are a little high here, so punches in this area will be considered a good punch. Punches here will be okay. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you to keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Touch up. Good girl. Good as worth it. It seems that both fighters for four years have been leading up to this one night. And here it is. Is it round 13 of the first fight? In which case, Marquez's technical skills could be the difference? Or is it a different fight because Manny Pacquiao has progressed so much as a boxer and has so developed his right hand in the four years since the first fight? There's the straight left hand from Pacquiao to start the violence. And it was followed by a quick little right hand. But before Pacquiao throws his left hand, he uses it most of the time. He's a little, he drops it a spit and winds up on it. So it's interesting how he's been able to hit somebody, so many people with it when you... It's not really a direct short punch, but he just throws so many punches. Well, and it's so fast. You know, power is a function of strength and speed, and there's no faster power punch than Manny Pacquiao's left hand. But you said something uh, the last fight uh, when he fought the road, it was interesting that Manny hurts people with punches that are grazing punches. A lot of time, he don't even land directly on the chin. Which means he must be what we call him to be just heavy-handed. Even grazing punches, he scores not bounce with fault in time. Marquez is being careful early on to control distance, staying at range where Pacquiao has to come forward to try to find him. 
moving back and then stepping forward to fire that right hand. Just as was the case in the early stages of the first fight, it's Manny Pacquiao's left hand against Juan Manuel Marquez's straight right. And you see what Marquez is doing and trying to make, wait till after. After oh, right hand by Marquez. Because Pacquiao gets out of position when he throws his left hand. The timing of the action so far belongs to Marquez, who has been able to blunt Pacquiao with his feet as much as with his hands. This is much more of a chess match than what took place in the first round on May 8, 2004. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Good body shot by Marquez. Drives Pacquiao back. Marquez trying to land a jab. First time he's really unfurled that. Pacquiao reaching with his jab. Ten seconds to go in the round. Any closing statement? An attempted body shot by Marquez. And he misses with the right hand to close out the action. Tactical, not torrid. Alright, man. Let's back this guy up with that double jab a little bit more for me, okay? Alright? Real good, real good. Do the counter punches. The right straight or the right hook? Here you see what may have been the most significant punch of the whole round, in the entire round, was a straight right hand right on the chin directly from Marquez. Box numbers in round one belong to Pacquiao, landing 12 out of 49, Marquez 6 out of 43. Pacquiao did land a couple of stiff left hands. You know, Pacquiao has a really good upper body rhythm, though he moves in and out, his body's always guarding, going left to right, which makes it very difficult to land punches on him also. Pacquiao now looks like he wants to make Marquez fight him more than box him. was sensational in 2006 with three straight victories including his two knockouts of Eric Morales. He was quite successful last year as well with a knockout of Jorge Solis and a decision over Marco Antonio Barrera. But some ringsiders sensed that he wasn't as violent, wasn't as destructive as he had been in the past. In response to that, Pacquiao says he's trained harder for this fight, was more focused for this fight, is ready to be the old Manny Pacquiao again. The body looks terrific. A reaching left hand for Marquez. But I watch when Pacquiao gets out of position when he throws his left. He doesn't get as far out of position as he used to be years back. He may throw his left hand to get out of position, but he tries to get back right away. Body shot by Marquez. Pacquiao lands with left hand. Marquez momentarily dipped. Did he dip or was his legs buckled? You know, we've talked about the importance of this fight for Marquez. It's also important for Pacquiao. He's established his greatness in the lower weight divisions. This is an opportunity for him to vault into the higher weight classes and make even more of himself. Marquez has landed two lead left hooks in this round. Not hard shots, but he's getting yeah. leather there. Yeah. It's quite unusual yeah. against the southpaw stance. It's very unusual. He's really setting the counterpunch back here. That's what he's trying to do. 
the backyard is not getting it out of position as much as it used to, but what Malker is is said, trying to, every time he comes in, he's trying to punch and come back. The Another pick. hard left hand for Manny. Manny's got a hard rhythm. You really can't time his movement as easy as it used to be. He always got his in and out rhythm. Even there, he didn't get hit with clean punches. A right hand by Pacquiao got through. But Marquez has been more effective in this exchange. Uppercut by Marquez. Huge left hook. Yeah, yeah. Buckle Pacquiao. Out of, out of Big punch for Marquez to punctuate the second round. Lively, lively. When he throws that straight punch to the body, come over in it. Kill him with the counter punch. Muy bien. Very nice, very nice. Lively, lively, because he's touching your body. Here you see. Malquez is working his counter punch once again when Pacquiao got out of position again, coming in, throwing a left hand. Marquez took advantage of it, and I'm quite sure that's what he's been working on in training over and over and over, counter-punching Pacquiao. Hobby box number's already interesting. Pacquiao would seem to have doubled Marquez's connects in the first round. Marquez doubled Pacquiao's connects in the second round, 18 to 9. Harold Letterman gave the first to Pacquiao in the second, Marquez. You know, looking at Marquez's eyes, I see the same determination that I saw in Nate Campbell's eyes last week. Regardless of what the outcome is going to be, he's, he's a very fiercely determined man in this fight here. Well, in case you missed it, 36-year-old Nate Campbell produced the effort of a lifetime in beating Juan Baby Bull Diaz, 12 years his junior, in yes. Cancun, Mexico last week. Straight left hand for Pacquiao. Marquez is moving back when Manny lands the left now. Marquez is just simply trying to uh, exploit any mistakes. Absolutely, Mark you're right. And yeah. the straight right hand lands right down the pipe for Marquez. You know, the aggression. Manny walked into it. He's trying to live off the aggression of Pacquiao. The challenge is Pacquiao to make him regret that aggression. And the fight, as the fight goes on, I see Pacquiao becoming tentative himself now. He's a little tentative to not going in and being aggressive because he's been counterpunched two or three times now. Yes, his so timing he, yeah, his hasn't timing been as yes. good as Juan Manuel Marquez. No, his timing doesn't seem like his confidence is not as good as it was. And Marquez is effectively using his feet to get in and out. Yeah, Marquez is fighting very, very smart, very confident. And I think that at this stage right now, Pacquiao is still a little too leery of coming in now. Up, they go head-to-head -head for a moment. Kenny Bayless checks both fighters. Back to round three action. Neither man has landed anything really big to the body. Marquez has been more frequent in going there. Straight right hand is the bread and butter for Marquez. Pacquiao comes back with a straight left. Manny tries to tee off to the left and gets it in there. This is a late round rally for Pacquiao. But this can change back and forth in this fight here. Down goes Marquez on a straight left hand shot. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. It may not have been a home run, but it was a double into the corner. And Marquez is hurt. He's better be very glad that he's going to hit that around. Good has it. This fight can go like this all night. Marquez almost went down a second time, and he almost went to the wrong corner as well. Are you okay? Relax, relax, relax. Get him off. Relax, relax, you're okay. 
No te preocupes, está bien. Camilo, Camilo, get that foot outside, don't follow him. Get your foot in the outside, okay? Here you see the knockdown right here. Beautiful short left. And it would have been down again the second time except for the ropes held him up. And then he came back and stunned Pacquiao slightly at the end of the round. That was the same sequence of punches as the one that buckled Pacquiao earlier. Marquez took an unwarranted risk looking to get at Pacquiao and paid a big price. Harold, how do you have it into the fourth? <laughs> Look at Jim, two rounds to one. 29, 27, Manny Pacquiao. You gotta give him an extra point for that knockdown. In round three, he won the first round. I thought Marquez won the second. Two to one, Pacquiao. Marquez trying to go back to the body and trying to go back to a more tactical style now. Pacquiao trying to search and destroy. Marquez trying to shock him with counter-punching aggression. I'm really impressed with Pacquiao's, I'm really his time and coordination, the way he's in and out, his upper body movement. I've never saw him this good with his upper body movement. And, and in that exchange earlier, he landed a really quick, solid right hand. He is an amazing athlete. Just an amazing athletic specimen. The speed, the power, the dynamism, the stamina, the ability to keep doing it. That's why Manny Pacquiao is so great. Marquez has decided to face the inevitable. He can't back yeah. off. Pacquiao's confidence is building up now. He's shooting his missiles now. He's running. Look at this. Well, this is the kind of firefight that Marquez didn't want to get into, but he had to. But Pacquiao is making him fight. Yeah, you're not going to outbox Pacquiao. He's going to have to fight him. And Pacquiao seems to be stronger now. His confidence has seemed to have come back. And he's punching with so much power and confidence. Good left hook by Marquez. It's, it's a measure of Pacquiao's improvement as a fighter how measured he's been in this round. He didn't get too excited off of the end of the last round. Mark has landed a solid straight right hand to punctuate the fourth round. Well, I'm done. Relax, relax. Deep breath. Deep breath. Right. Okay. Can you pass? Okay. Yeah. Good job. bien, Juanito. Mamá, no te descubre. You're doing, you're doing good. You're doing good. Just protect yourself. Except for that, for the fall, you're doing good. Very good. Left, right, left. To the hood of the body. Work the body. He's coming with the left. Okay. Come on, look alive, look alive. Don't fall in this game plan. There you see Pacquiao land his patented right and straight left following through right on the chin. When we asked Manny Pacquiao yesterday what kind of fight he expected, he broke out on a big grin and said, hey, he himself said, meaning Juan Manuel Marquez, he said it was going to be a war. I'm very happy about that. Sometimes in this fight, it has become a war. And when it is, Manny Pacquiao, as usual, has the advantage. Well, he loves a fight. You can see it in his eyes. I don't think there's ever been anybody in the boxing ring that loves to fight as much as he does. That's a big statement. Yeah, but he loves to fight. You can see it. 
and, and, and I think he would rather be doing this than anything else in the world. Henry Armstrong? I don't think he says much of this man. I've looked at this, looking at his eyes, you can see the intensity and the fierceness in him that says that he is a true fighter. Kapiabox numbers through four round found him landing an almost identical number of punches. 51 for Marquez and 53 for Pacquiao. Little to choose between the two, but it's Pacquiao who has put Marquez on his trucks. At this stage, Pacquiao looks so, so sturdy and so strong mentally and physically. Two good jabs from Pacquiao, something we seldom saw from the past. up. Juan Manuel comes forward. Reaching with the left of the body. Reaching with the left upstairs. Jab by Pacquiao. Great straight right hand by Marquez. <laughs> left hand lands for Pacquiao. Marquez was moving to the side. weapon for Juan Manuel Marquez who has managed to keep it a boxing match in this round. And, and he may have won this round too because it's been a tit for tat round and that was, that was a good clean punch there. Both men try to rally down the set and steal the round. Both men land a couple of punches. With the hook, with the right. Remember, whenever you can. And use the uppercut. But remember, he's not in position for all the time for that. And your hands up, your hands up, and the uppercut, right uppercut with the hook to the liver. Yeah. All right? Okay. All right, yeah, once you get busy out there. All right? Now here, man, when you're first, you control him. All right? Yeah. All right, let's be first out there. Yeah, control him. Yeah, once again, we see one single punch is probably the most... Uh, Rememberable punch in the whole round, which was a straight right, but this time it came from Marquez. Zombie box numbers in the fifth. Marquez 12 out of 38. Pacquiao 10 out of 40. Relatively slow pace for these kinds of fighters. 10 of Marquez's 12 connects with power shots. Probably almost all that straight right hand. His best tactic against Pacquiao. Already into the sixth. After all the waiting, Nearly four years between fights. We're almost halfway through. Targeted right hand by Marquez. Very smart. He started the right hand and waited until Max Pacquiao moved his head and then he let it go after that. Smart. Yeah. Body shot by Marquez. Nacho Berestain was asking for that. The left hand to the liver between rounds. There's a slight abrasion outside of one of Manny Pacquiao's eyes. The left eye, and that's what Marquez targets when he fires that right hand. Yeah, he's, he's pot shotting him right now. Manny has lost his rhythm. He's got to get his rhythm back. Well, Freddie Roach said, I want you to get busy. That's really what Manny needs to do, is to go in and throw punches and bunches. His flurries and combinations destroyed Eric Morales. Right now, Marquez has got him back on a string. Body shot by Juan Manuel. 
that this is the pace where Marquez wants to keep the fight. At this distance and at this pace right here, he's more effective than, than uh, Pacquiao is. Now Pacquiao gets in a good body shot. And Marquez right. tilts him a little bit with the right hand up there. As I said earlier, anything can happen in this fight. I mean, one of these guys could get knocked down and come back the same way and knock the other guy down. Hard right hand by Marquez. You see the difference in power. Now Marquez gets in a left hook. He's outboxing Pacquiao again. Pacquiao looks physically much stronger, but at this, this round here, Marquez is winning the fight. Well, he's this, neutralizing this. his left hand so far. He's not letting him dominate him with the left hand. Keeping Pacquiao just conscious enough of his own right. As improved as Pacquiao's right hand is, I will take my chances on him beating me with the right hand. He hasn't been that figure. I think the biggest thing to me for Pacquiao to fight is that he's, his timing and upper body movement and rhythm, in and out rhythm, is much better than I've ever saw it. Little body punch inside for Marquez. Pacquiao reaches take to the it. body and Marquez hits him upstairs. Kind of punch him. Taking advantage of Pacquiao getting out of position when he throws his left hand. There it is. He tried it again. In rounds like this, you can feel Juan Manuel Marquez outthinking Manny Pacquiao. Good right hand. Clearly, Marquez won that round. Come on, boo boy. Knee breath. Come on. Keep your arms down. All right, Manny, you're letting this get away from you. You're standing right in front of this guy, letting him get off his combinations. Yeah. Coming up. You need to finish off your punches. You need to finish off your punches with the combinations. When you throw the right, throw the hook. Throw the hook with hook to the left. And then the uppercut. Come on, you haven't thrown one. Throw it to the body. Throw it to the body. Come on, his mouth is open already. We go to the seventh of a scheduled 12. CompuBox numbers in the sixth were relatively even. To my eyes, it was clear that Marquez tactically won the round. Harold Letterman, what did you see and how do you have it? <laughs> okay, Jim, I get it three rounds apiece, but in the all importance category, 57 56 Manny Pacquiao because of that extra point that he gets for the knockdown in round number three. Jim, I agree with you. One man, one Marquez doing a beautiful job with that right hand to win rounds five and six after Marquez won, won round two. So three to three, but Pacquiao by a point on a knockdown. I have the same score. Isn't it interesting that it took a knockdown in this fight as it did three knockdowns in the first fight for Marquez to find what he wanted to do. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Marquez missing, coming back. If the fight follows its pattern of seesaw activity back and forth, then this will be a round that Pacquiao wins. Yeah, but, you know, Marquez, this is really Marquez's style of fight, the way he's fighting, and technically where he can count him punch. And he's a little bit smarter by keeping that space. But I just like the energy of Pacquiao, even when he goes back between the rounds, I just, he looks so much stronger, so much, so much energy seems to be still in his body as compared to Marquez. Juan Manuel landed a little left hook to the body. Hey. And sometimes uh, a little left, oh. oh, and they have a headbutt, and there's blood outside the right eye of Juan Manuel Marquez. And Marquez with a look of disgust on his That's face. That's a little headbutt. Left-handed, right-handed. All right. Time in. Fortunately for Marquez, the cut is far enough outside the eye that I don't think the blood will affect his vision. And I'm quite sure with Nacho Bernstein here have a good cut man in the corner also. Marquez okay. landed a quick right hook. Momentarily lifted Marquez off his front foot. Another left hand for Pacquiao. Marquez has to fight back. And They're great in touch. It's a Manny Pacquiao type round. Yeah, but Marquez is going to have to fight him. You can't, you can't outbox this guy. He's going to have to fight him. 
He outboxed him for two rounds. Well, after, the, after that exchange, Marquez was in balance and Pacquiao was falling backward. It's almost as if the sight of blood on Marquez's face has again brought out the Tiger in Pacquiao. Marquez missing with that big right hand. Now he lands the right and drives Pacquiao back. Pacquiao with two hard lefts. They're fighting again in the seventh. He's cut. He's cut. He's also cut. Oh, it's very little cut. It's not yeah. very little cut. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't be scared. It's nothing there. Nothing. It was head butt. Danny, give some water. All right, Manny. That's the way to fight this guy. On your toes, in and out. Speed. Manny, listen to me. He cannot handle you. Here yeah, we see the head, but in, in particular, the way that Pacquiao fights, because he lunges in when he punches. So whenever you get a butt from him, it's really a true butt. But it could have been either way. The other guy could have got cut. But, and right after you see his head and it punches, long one, two, right jab, followed by a long straight left. In December, we saw a fight in Madison Square Garden between Shane Mosley and Miguel Cotto, in which the two fighters landed through 12 rounds. An identical number of punches by CompuBox count, 248 apiece. Through seven rounds tonight, Marquez by CompuBox count has landed 93 punches, the same number he landed through seven in the first fight, and Pacquiao has landed 91. An amazingly even fight, and the straight right hand by Marquez hurt Pacquiao. I think it landed in his eye, Jim. Yeah. That's what and I mean. He squinted his eye. He's not hurt, but. And now there's blood in the eye. That's ice. what I mean. He and, hurt him and, with and, that and punch. Was, he was cut him and cut. there's blood on his eye. It was from the, from the, from the blow, too. That's it damage. wasn't a butt. That's damage. Now both guys are not going to have to fight with him. The last fight, Marquez fought with, with, his, with his nose broke with his after the first round. This is living up to what it was expected to be, but a little bit more tactical. But still, the drama is still here. The location of Pacquiao's cut, far more dangerous to him than the location of Marquez's cut is to him. I think Pacquiao it is, is very bothered by it. It's bothered him very much like Diaz was. It's not just a cut, but it's bothered him. That cut is right in the eyelid or in the eye. And you notice that Marquez immediately mixed in body punches to compound the damage. Left hook lands for Marquez, right on the cut. Pacquiao's gonna try to come back. Marquez is more accurate. That's a sacred punch that if Marquez used more would be very effective and would change the whole fight. A simple left jab, which will control Pacquiao better. Well, he can use it a lot more now if Pacquiao's lead eye is compromised. Yeah. There's a perfect combination by Marquez. And he should he work is that swamping jab. Pacquiao in this round, taking tremendous advantage of the tactical flaw that has been created for Pacquiao by that cut. Perfect uppercut by Marquez. Pacquiao trying to swing away with the left hand and turn things back around. Pacquiao still punches, punches with so much power with that left hand. With him. And Marquez is exchanging with him, but his head is up a lot of times. And all Pacquiao needs is that one left hand punch and he can change his whole fight again. As Manny Pacquiao goes back to his corner, his cut man is the veteran Joe Chavez. And Chavez must now go to work. Suddenly, he's the most important man in the ring for Pacquiao. Okay, good, good. Hello? 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 
Deep breath, Lily. Lily. Here we see the right hand that landed and really did all of the damage to the right eye of Pacquiao's solid right, no head, but nothing accidentally or otherwise. And here you see a simple one-two. Both punches landed to the right eye. Pacquiao was more than a two-to-one favorite in this fight, which seemed to be high, and now it seems to be way more than high. In round eight, 21 connected punches for Marquez. Only five connected for Pacquiao. He only threw 25. He was trying for most of the round to recover from the badly cut right eye. Look out, look out. Pacquiao suffered a cut on that eye in his first fight with Eric Morales, and it was a factor in his decision loss. Even though the betting odds have always had Pacquiao head, you talk to general, not just the fans here, but general people I've been speaking to, everybody's been like split even. In fact, I would say probably more of them have been picking more Marquez that I spoke to. And that was even before coming to the fight. Well, those are boxing people. They yeah. aren't the ones who make for the odds in the casinos. Right, right. That's, That's about how many Filipinos bet on Pacquiao and how many Mexicans bet on Marquez. Pacquiao. And incidentally, Chavez got the blood to stop. The swelling is still there, but it's not bleeding. Yeah, so far, both of the cut guys have done a good job. Nacho Beristain does his own cuts in Marquez's corner. Again, Joe Chavez was the man who stopped Pacquiao's bleeding between rounds. Perfect straight right hand by Marquez. And the blood begins to flow again as Pacquiao reaches up and thumbs it with his glove. That's a straight Hard left hand that's by Pacquiao. That's a straight left that I've been waiting on him to make because Marquez is pulling back, but he's still real in a position to get hit with those left hands. And the, hit, and the mar right eye of Marquez is now uh, bothering him more than it did previously. Drives Marquez back. Body shot lands for Marquez. This round is on the table with 40 seconds to go. Yeah, but the momentum is going with Pacquiao now. He's, That's he's, correct. He's got his rhythm going again. Yep, and he's getting some of his confidence back after it clearly wavered in the eighth round. It, look, it may be a, a new cut over Marquez's eyes. One thing we can be sure of, when a Marquez gets into a fight, it's a fight. Time in! That's a second cut. I believe you're right. With the right eye. Yeah. Yep. This is not the one outside anymore. This was mud. This one must have been caused by a left hand punch by Pacquiao. It's good to have a good boxing doctor over there, Jeff Davidson. Good doctor. There's a lot of boxing panic can stop a fight. Nevada's medical supervision is the best. They trade shots. What a war! Both men trying desperately to win the round. Mr. Vaseline. Abre. Open up. Yeah. You stop pressing. You stop pressing. That's what he caught you. Press him. Press him. Here you see Pacquiao is getting his range again and start to find his target with that long, straight left hand. In fact, that's the punch, evidently, that probably caused the second cut. CompuBox numbers in the ninth. My gosh, are we already in the tenth round? Marquez landed 12, and Pacquiao landed 13, and Harold, that wasn't an easy round to score. How do you have the fight? Okay, Jim, five rounds to four. 
86, 84, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, I tell you, that, that one point for the yeah, This all started with a brilliant Pacquiao left hand, which looked for a moment as though it was going to knock Marquez down. But he just looks so strong, as I said, going back to the rounds. Even I look at Marquez walks, but he just looks weaker and, 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 and don't seem to have the energy or the strength of Pacquiao. Marquez and the blood begins to flow in his right eye. Big round for Pacquiao so far. Pacquiao's right eye has been patched up well so far. Yeah, Joe Thomas doing a fine job in Pacquiao's corner. And Nacho Beristain has an increasingly difficult job yeah, on his that, hands. That's that second cut. The bad, first one was bad, but the second cut seems to be really bad. In fact, the doctor was over there, Dr. Davidson was even seeming to consider maybe stopping it. I tell him the referee that if it worsens to stop the fight. It would be a tremendous disappointment if a fight like this was stopped on a cut. Big disappointment, but I think the fans would understand it. Both guys have been cut. Pacquiao ripping the left hand. Marquez coming back. What guts both fighters have shown tonight. Great right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao's mouthpiece drops out of his mouth. And he wasn't hit. It seemed maybe he's getting tired. Marquez right. goes after him, That's trying to take advantage of this. He knows that Pacquiao's lost his mouthpiece. And maybe he's getting tired, too. If he hits him right in the mouth, he could cut him. But it's Pacquiao who backs him off. Yeah. You're not pressing him. You're not pressing him. When you get the punch in, you're waiting. You're waiting, and then he builds. Come on, press, press, press. There's only two more rounds, Juan. Only two more rounds. Attack the body. Put the uppercut in. Attack the body. Attack the body. Oh, strong. Oh, and he can't, he can't tolerate it anymore. If you hit the body, he's not going to take it anymore. You see an unusual punch right here. You see Pacquiao duck a punch and just wing a punch, not even knowing where it's going, and it landed. Blood is drama. We have blood. We have drama. It would be no injustice if Jeff Davidson stopped the fight because of the cut over Marquez's eye. It is a brutal gash. But CompuBox numbers in the 10th were still almost even. Marquez 15 punches landed. Pacquiao 17 punches landed, equal in power shots. Manny's just happened to be the harder shots. What a great job Joe Chavez has done with Pacquiao's right eye. It's closing. But no blood has flowed for the last couple of rounds. Kenny Bayless tells Juan Manuel Marquez to keep him up. Okay. Pacquiao gets time to recover if he wants it. Okay. Time in. Touch up, touch up, come up.
What a quick right hook by Pacquiao as Marquez was coming in. Yeah. And it sets up a straight left hand that drives but Marquez back into the corner. Marquez is going straight back to get hit with those left, so he's not slipping his head at all. He's going straight back in a straight line. Winging right hand by Marquez. Not as much power in that shot as when he throws it straight up the gut. That's the punch that can hurt Pacquiao if he lands a couple of them. Or three of them. Pacquiao comes back with his own right hand. Pacquiao blocked three punches in a row. A part of his game that you don't often see. Marcus reaching over the top. Some of his punches are losing steam. When he throws the straight right hand, he's still got some steam. Pacquiao's defense is a lot better than it used to be. Even though he's off balance a lot, and you see Marquez punching, he half blocks and catches on punches where he used to in the first fight he was getting hit clean. But he usually he keeps he's a little bit aware of punches coming back than he used to be. So he catches a lot of them on the elbows and they're not as effective as it appears to be all the time. Unless he has won this round, and that's if he Marquez is slipping into that area where he may need a knockout to beat Manny Pacquiao. You're doing good, but don't let him go. Push him back, push him back. Attack the body, you have to attack the body. Attack the body and then finish off with the right and the uppercut. Abu, yeah. get hook. Come on. Last round, Juan, you gotta come up with everything. Upper and the left hook. I have this fight six to five for Marquez, which means that I have an even fight because of the knockdown by Pacquiao. Well, that heightens the drama. Great right hands for Marquez, two of them. Pacquiao's gonna be looking to land one more big left hand at least. Sometimes judges score blood, and it's Marquez who has had blood flowing down his face in the last three rounds of the fight. Cut by Marquez, sets up a straight right hand. Pacquiao comes running back at him, and Marquez yeah. almost tackles him in the middle of the ring. If he can just stay away from Pacquiao's left hand, which is really the only thing he's going to do, he has a good chance of winning this round. This could be crucial. Solid shots by Marquez, and he ducks Manny. That was left. perfect. What he did just there, go underneath. There you go. He's got to keep doing that instead of going straight back. Instead good left hand up. by Marquez. Now Pacquiao lands a solid shot, but up to this point, Juan Manuel is winning the round. We've got one minute to go. High drama in Las Vegas. We waited four years to see this rematch. Juan Manuel Marquez yeah. trying to avenge all of Manny Pacquiao's triumphs against Mexican fighters. 
and driving Pacquiao back into the ropes. Marquez going out on his field if he's losing and showing you all the heart that you might expect from a great, proud Mexican fighter. Well, whatever the decision is, is one thing, but this round looked like Marquez is winning the round, simply by avoiding those lunging left-hand punches, bending down, and Pacquiao doesn't have much more than that, and so he's beating with other short combination punches. Now here comes the blood, and here comes the crowd on their feet. Everybody's up. Notice he avoid that left hand punch. He's got a good chance of winning this round. One more right hand for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. They trade shots down the stretch. Hell of a fight. I'm calling it another draw. <laughs> Well, it's a great line, but not if you had it even coming to the last round because it looked pretty clear that Juan Manuel Marquez won the 12th, although there it is. Harold Letterman gives the 12th to Pacquiao, disagreeing with us. So Pacquiao, a clear winner on the Letterman card, 15 to 12. CompuBox numbers in the 12th round. Marquez landing 19 to 15 for Pacquiao. I personally thought Marquez landed the solider shots in the 12th round. I, I definitely think Marquez won that in, in every way in the 12th round. Highlights of an extremely eventful fight. Reminiscent of their first fight in the sense that it was highly eventful. A seesaw battle. Round three. Pacquiao knocks Marquez down. Maybe that will be the difference in the fight. Marquez came back to win the next couple of rounds after that. Then the headbutt in the seventh round. Creating a cut on the outside of Marquez's eye. Seemed to energize Marquez though, as in the eighth round. We'll see him land a solid combination. Left and a right, perfect. Then in the ninth round, Pacquiao showing his strength and starting to take over. Straight left hand. That was the punch that opened up a new cut on Juan Manuel Marquez's eye. Marquez suffered in the last three rounds of the fight from the constant flow of blood in that brutal cut on his right eyelid. But he was still vibrant enough to come back in the 12th round with what I thought was a spirited rally, although our unofficial judge, Harold Letterman, gave the 12th to Pacquiao to give him a solid 115-112 score. Michael Buffer stands by to eliminate the suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, after one of the all-time great 12 rounds in the super featherweight division, we go to the scorecards. Jerry Roth scores the bout. 115-112. Marquez. Dwayne Ford. 115-112. Pacquiao. Tom Miller, 114, 113 to the winner on split decision. And new champion from the Philippines, Manny Pacman. Pacquiao. The difference in the fight was the knockdown. Two of the three judges, including Tom Miller, who created the difference here, gave the 12th round to Marquez. But at the end of the day, it's the knockdown that creates the one-point margin for Pacquiao within the past month. Both Juan Manuel Marquez and Rafael Marquez have lost brilliant, spirited, violent fights by a single point in split decisions.
Final CompuBox numbers in the fight, and they'll be almost dead even in terms of number of punches landed. Marquez winds up landing 15 more punches than Pacquiao, an average of a little over one more landed punch per round. Lands at a higher connect percentage, 34% to 25%. Jabs and the edge here. Well, in a southpaw versus a, versus a conventional fighter fight, the jab is not a huge weapon for either fighter. Power shots are where the fight was decided. And Marquez landed more of them, and at a higher percentage. But Pacquiao landed the punch that put Marquez on his trunks, and that ultimately was the difference in the fight. Larry Merchant stands by with the winner. All right, thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Manny. Were you surprised by the result? Did you think you had won the fight? Yeah, I think I, I won the fight, and uh, and um, I really expect this fight is going to be hard because Marquez he trained hard and he prepared this fight. What did you see in him that was different from the first fight? What did you do to try to win this fight? Actually, um, the last time uh, the first fight he jab a lot, and uh, and then and then now uh, he, he, he didn't jab. How much did the cut over your eye bother you? Oh, it's, just, uh, it's, it's uh, really bothered me because I can't see my, my right eyes and then uh, I can see his uh, right and then left, left right hands and uh, in hope. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm so bothered. And, and I told uh, my, my coach that I um, uh, make it uh, heal so I can uh, recover my, my stuff. The difference in this fight proved to be your knockdown of him. Let's see if we can take another look at the knockdown and you tell us what happened. You tried the right hand and you missed? Well, um, that's our uh, plan. Uh, number one plan for training is the left hook and uh, and uh, I'm lucky to hit that in, in, the, in, in that round. Did he do a good job other than that of not letting you do too much damage with your left hand? Well, um, I, I see Marcus this tonight a lot of improvement on the first one because um, he's, uh, he moved fast and uh, he, he hit movement, he have a hit movement and um, more, more counter -pouncer. Could you have beaten him? four years ago with this style of fighting or are you so much better now that you were able to beat him this time well i, I think um i believe that i i do my best that tonight and then uh, i'm happy because i win and uh, i i really it, it's a really hard opponent uh, marquez is uh, that's why that's why i'm uh, i'm uh, All right. it, we assume this is your last fight at junior lightweight, that you will move up and wait for your next fight. Is that true? I don't know yet because uh, I didn't talk to my uh, promoter yet and also my my uh, my camp. And uh, but we have a plan to, to fight on 135 pounds, but uh, it's not yet uh, uh, fixed. Thank you. Congratulations right, again, man. Uh, Juan Manuel. You fought a wonderful fight. First, tell us how bad was the eye through the late stages of the fight for you to be able to deal with. No, 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 no me afectó. Ese ese corte fue un cabezazo y este bueno la pelea todo estuvo bien. Sentimos que ganamos. Esa decisión no es justa. It didn't affect me. It was a headbutt, and then we thought we won, and the decision wasn't correct. Once again, a knockdown proved to be the difference in this fight. Did you fight other than that the fight you wanted to fight? Sí, buscamos la pelea. Nosotros estuvimos buscando la 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 lo lastimé cuatro o cinco veces, lo puse mal. Y bueno, la pelea no es de otra vez. Vuelvo al 2004. La pelea no es de un round de una caída. Yes, we, es de 12 rounds. Yes, we pressed and we hurt him. We hurt him three, four, five times. But it, like in 2004, it's not only just one round. Do you feel that, in a way, this is the story of your career, that somehow 
this slipped away from you for as well as you fought him both times. No, no, no se me ha ido nada. Yo hice un gran trabajo. La gente es la mejor, es el mejor juez. Y la gente vio, nos vio ganar y bueno, que él puede hacer uno a esto. Esto, estas decisiones hacen que que un peleador se desanime o se haga más fuerte. I haven't lost, I haven't lost anything. I haven't lost anything at all. And the people will see, and the people know who really won the fights. And we will see. Then the decisions like this one obviously is discouraged, but we believe we won. Thank you, Juan Manuel, for another wonderful fight. Jim.